Hey guys, um, welcome back. This is going to be part two of my um, what's in my bags video for travel edition. I didn't realize it was going to be such a long video the way that I had been filming it. Um, so uh, this is going to be part two. So part one was basically just what was in my suitcase. That was the biggest one. And this one is going to be what's in uh, my diaper bag and what's in Liam's suitcase. So um, kind of separated really nice and evenly so that way you can see what's in them. Okay, let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. So next we're going to be going through my diaper bag and seeing how I pack this guy. So as you can see, it's pretty full, um, but I feel like everything in here is either needed or I just, I think it's necessary. So uh, first thing is first, um, we're going through the sky right here. I just kind of threw him on top. Um, Liam, I actually let him pick out a toy and this is one that he picked out. I wanted him to have a little blanket to play with. Um, sometimes like when I'm changing him, he wants something to hold. And so I normally give him a washcloth to hold or uh, he has another small little blanket uh, toy to hold as well. And I let him pick out all the ones and he picked this guy. So then I'll go through this pouch in a moment. Uh, this is all of his like smaller toys. Um, and then this is my wallet. So this has all of my cards and our passports and all the important documents in there. So moving on, um, I have this book here in the middle. I wanted to have a book for us to read while we're at the airport because sometimes, you know, you're just sitting there. So this is one of his favorite books, uh, The Very Hungry Bear. Um, and then I have my glasses, of course, because, uh, you know, well, it's nice to see. <laughs> um, and then further down in here, I have a burp cloth, and then also a uh, swaddle blanket. I'll show you those after I unload all the other areas. So I have his little sippy cup here, um, good to stay hydrated. And then we're gonna be going to a sunny area. So I got him these, apparently they're indestructible um, and they're meant to like be able to be pulled and yanked and you know whatnot and not break. So we'll see how these hold up. Um, they're not the exact style I wanted, but he was too, these were the smallest ones and they're the only ones that fit him. Only ones that fit him. <laughs> um, and then just a snack for the uh, airport. Uh, some pears. And then um, in this pocket here on the end, um, I have my cords that I need. So it's lots of headphones. Lots of <laughs> There's some headphones in here. Um, a USB and... Um, different charging uh, connectors because my phone has like that weird one that's not like it's like perfectly round almost um, and then I have my dirty bag so when he gets a bib dirty or a washcloth or something um, so that's all that was in that pocket and that pocket zips by the way um, and then in this pocket I have wipes and then this one I have his diapers and I have a good amount of diapers in here I have one two three four five five diapers in here um, and then in this pocket, it's his toy pocket. So I have this crinkle book. It is his favorite book. This is the Jelly Cat one, um, Pet Tales. I'm really wanting to get the dinosaur one because he's really into dinosaurs. Although I don't mind this nail. I was attempting to do something and they didn't turn out as nice as you. <laughs> um, and the other toy that I have in here is this little rattle. It squeaks. Um, I don't want to squeak because he's sleeping right now, but, uh, he loves that. We call it Alpha. Um, and this is an insulated pocket, so it's this one. But um, I obviously use this for toys. The other one is good because it uses it for the water. In this pocket, it's all of, like the clothing and cloths. So um, I like to have a cloth on me at all times, especially here in Vancouver, because when I take him to the park, sometimes I have to wipe off the swings from the rain. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I just, it's good to have. And then I have a bib, so when I feed him, and then I have my gloves. Um, and then in here, I also have a spare outfit for him. So I have just a spare onesie and a pair of like sweatpants, and then also a pair of socks in there as well. Um, so this pocket is zippers. Um, zippers or zips? <laughs> um, I just have a, one of these spoons that like screws onto the packages that I get for him. And then I have uh, some baby mum mums. 
I was actually surprised that these ones weren't organic. So I might have to go get the organic ones because I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and then I got the uh, Caveman Bar. This is dark chocolate cashew almond. Super delicious. Um, and then I have a bunch of baby spoons in here because, you know, uh, we're going to be going to somebody else's house and I don't know if they'll have baby stuff. So, um, this is the other, uh, lip gloss that I was talking about. This is the hibiscus one. Um, and it also has the light when you unscrew it. It's super, super pretty, but I got that one in here. Um, and then oh, another baby spoon. <laughs> Uh, and then I also have some drinks. Uh, so I have the Pollen Burst, Body Trim, and Rebound in here. Um, and moving on, I have some uh, Q-tips and then also some essential oils. So I have, oh, and uh, my Rescue Remedy. So I have To Be at Peace in here. And this is Lavender and Chamomile. Um, this one's Lavender and Frankincense, the purple one here. And this one is Comfort's Touch. Uh, so, and these ones are all the 1% uh, roller bottles here. So you can use it on the baby, which is really cute. And this little pouch was actually made uh, for me by um, one of the ladies I used to scrapbook with. Um, <laughs> yeah, but she made this for like a group of us. It was super, super sweet. So, and then moving on to the bottom, like I said, I just have a... Uh, swaddle blanket in here and a um, burp cloth because just in case he needs a little extra warmth um, and also if you know we need a burp cloth for any sort of reason if he spits up if you know he needs to <laughs> sit on it I don't know so in this little bag it was his munchment bag um, so I just have a <laughs> a uh, binky thermometer, um, so super easy to take his temperature just in case. I also have uh, his banana uh, toothbrush, um, which he is obsessed with. I think that's his favorite thing to chew on right now. Um, and then I have one of these guys. It's a rattle. It's shaped like an ice cream cone, and it's one that you can put in the fridge so he can chew on it and it's nice and cold for his gums because he is teething right now. Um, and then this rattle is one of his favorite things to play with. It's so simple. I think it's so funny that he loves it so much, but, um, bringing that guy. And then this is just a teething ring, um, for him to chew on. And then we also have a regular binky. Um, these are the ones that he likes to sleep with, um, like go to sleep with. And then of course we have the munchment in here at the bottom. Um, and this is just really nice, like, if you're holding him to put on his hand, because he will try to suck on his own hand and chew on it. And that's what's in there. So moving on to the side pocket, I literally just have one tampon in this outside zippered area. And then in here I have a, a little toy leash as well, um, just because he likes to throw things. So if I'm going to... Um, so this pocket here, uh, I have in the zippered pocket, I normally keep this guy and this has all my like travel medicine for me so like the bonine and um gravel and stuff like that and then I also have uh tums in here um you know just in case and then and then this pocket here I keep my hand sanitizer and this is also from longevity this one is the foaming one and it has a couple of hair ties on it and some um rubber bands because you never know when you're going to need them. And then I also have some pens in here uh, because when we're going to be flying, I know I'm going to have to fill up some custom papers and stuff like that. Um, and then some mints from Starbucks. Okay, and then in the back last pocket here is just the changing mat. Um, so super convenient. And it also adds a little bit of extra padding when I'm carrying it on my back. So um, really all in all, I'm loving this uh, diaper bag. And then it has the stroller straps here, and then it has the body strap, and then also the backpack straps. And obviously, you don't have to have them all clipped on. I'm just crazy, and I have them all clipped on at all times because I never know when I'm going to need them. Um, but that is the diaper bag all packed. Okay, so this is Liam's suitcase, and the tricky thing about his is his is going to be the carry-on suitcase, so I can't expand it Um because it has to fit in the compartment. So we're just going to have to see if we can make this work. <laughs> um, 
I'm just going to show you what I have and then kind of repack things and um, make it look nice. So first things first, um, his little jelly cat uh, elephant. This is Ollie Fant, the elephant. Um, he loves this little guy. I actually am thinking about bringing this on the plane with us, so that might take up some space there. Um, and then, of course, I'm bringing him his bedtime books. So we got God Bless My Friends and Llama Llama Red Pajama. These are two of his favorite books for bedtime. I mean, he has some other favorites, but they're larger and uh, I just can't. <laughs> it just won't fit. And I know he's getting books for Christmas too. So he is bringing a couple of hats here. So he has this one, this one, and then this is a warmer hat. The reason why we're bringing this guy is because um, it matches his pajama set uh, that we're going to be wearing for the family photo. So it has to come. <laughs> And then these little shoes, I'm hoping he still fits into them. I think he does. Uh, he normally wears larger shoes than he actually is because he does not like wearing shoes. But these ones are cloth and they're easier to put on. So I think he'll be okay with them even if they are like his actual shoe size. Um, so then I have a pair of pajamas here. Um, if you can't tell, this is my favorite print right now. Um, and then he has a lighter weight, weight pair of pajamas. He actually has two of these. This is the blue one, and then he has a gray one as well. They're actually just fitting him right now. Like, he is almost out of these two. I need to go, um, we're going to go to Once Upon a Child, and I need to find bigger pajamas. Uh, so that's on my to-do list. Um, and then we have this pair of pajamas, which is for the family photos. Super, super cute. And then we have this pair. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I feel like these are too warm for, you know, Florida and the Caribbean. But they're like the only ones that fit them right now. So they're going to stay in here for now. Um, moving on. This is a little beach robe, uh, bath robe thing. So, so cute. And then we got some shorts here with the little suspenders. So cute. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say like for every single item basically. Oh good. He does have the love your mama shirt. Okay. Um, so this is a little Mickey Mouse shirt because we're going to be, you know, going on a Disney cruise. So got to have that. Um, love your mama. So that matches my mama shirt that I have. Um, this is just a tank top onesie. And then these ones are like the actual like outfit outfits. So they're like little shorts um, instead of like a onesie. It's like, I don't know, a jumper almost or a romper <laughs> for boys. Uh, so this one has little sharks and pineapples and uh, surfboards. And then I have another one like that. And this one is just a little anchor on it. And again, it has little shorts on it. This one, I'm so excited for him to wear. It's like a little track jumper romper thing um and has a little hoodie on the back so so cute uh, my friend actually gave this to us so excited to wear it um and then he has this little more formal one as well so those guys there um moving on um we'll move to this section here so these are just some black shorts like uh workout shorts if you're on my instagram then you've probably seen him in those uh i did the little workout photo shoot with him and he was wearing those so cute um and then we got the seize the day this is a swim uh top i actually don't like this shirt <laughs> but my mom does so we're bringing it um this is the one that i like it's just plain um and it's just so much better, in my opinion. And then it goes with these shorts. So, so cute. And they also come with a little hat. Um, he's actually worn these already in California. Again, if you're on my Instagram, you've probably, probably seen him in it. He's worn them in California and Colorado. So and he's just traveling the globe in them. <laughs> um, these are just a pair of shorts. So cute. Little camo uh, shorts with the pockets. And then he also has a pair of... Um, floral ones as well and then I'm really into like basic so I try to stick to that so he has a white uh, top um, short sleeve a yellow one I'm bringing this one because 
I am planning on doing a Disney bound aerial look. Um, all of my stuff is actually being shipped to my uncle's house where we're going. And then I was going to do a Disney bound flounder for him. So he's going to wear this. And then I'm hoping to find blue shorts for him and then some other things to make him more floundery. <laughs> um, but uh, this is just a gray, like heathered gray short sleeve. This one's super cute. It says made to soar. And it's how do you basically do um, your made to soar. And it's a uh, paper airplane. This is just a shirt. Um, it's not a onesie, it's just a shirt. And then this is so cute. I'm super excited about this. So I'm just going to have them wear it opened, I think, with some shorts. So cute. Um, this is just a shirt again. And then we have this one, which is like a vintage Winnie the Pooh. Um, I just love it. But the vest, he hasn't worn the vest yet. He's worn the shirt, but not the vest. So I'm super excited about that. Um, this, I believe, is a onesie. Yep. Yeah. So gray onesie, and then this guy is a shirt that the gray onesie is going to go with. Um, so there's that. And then moving on to this side, this is a long sleeve blue shirt with a little vest. Um, this is more like the Christmassy holiday side over here. So um, obviously we have the Santa. Um, this is a long sleeve though. Um, so I also brought a short sleeve red one, and they are going to go with this vest. And then I also brought a plain red one because I wasn't sure if I was going to like him in the Winnie the Pooh one, but I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone here. <laughs> um, and then this one's just a super cute, like beigey top, um, long sleeve though. And then this one is short sleeve. So that's good. Um, and then we have, oh, that's going to go with this, this shirt right here, the short sleeve blue one that's that goes together and then this is a cute little like old man cardigan looking cardigan <laughs> um and then we have this one i'm super excited for him to fit into this finally uh and this is my mom she picked this one out gosh i'm not a fan of this one at all it's just too bright um but you know gotta keep the grandparents happy um and then this shirt i love this one on him as well uh, and then we have, this is his favorite pair of jeans. And then, um, this is a vest, which I wear on him all the time. Um, you've probably actually seen it a lot on my channel <laughs> if you watch and, uh, on my Instagram as well, actually, like if I'm tired or if we're both tired and I just need to get out the house, I put him in this, like if he's wearing his, uh, gray onesie or gray sleeper. I'll put this over it and it just makes it look like an outfit. So cute. Um, and then I have a gray long sleeve. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love baby clothes. This reminds me of like what my dad used to wear when I was little. Like, oh, so cute. And then, of course, we have some more Disney items here. So we have his Woody outfit, which he actually wore as his like getting ready outfit for Halloween. Um, and then this is the uh, 101 Dalmatians um, I think my sister actually got him this. No, my sister got him pants, but he grew out of the pants. This is for my mom, I think. Um, and then oh, this is one of my favorite little sweaters. I could not pass it up. And then we just have another little short sleeve white one as well. So that's all that's on this side. Okay, so this side is some more, just like kind of more random items. So we have another burp cloth because just in case the one that I packed in the diaper bag gets dirty, I want to have an extra one on hand while we're down there. Um, he has a little cute tie. Oh my gosh, you guys. So cute. Um, and then oh, his little bow tie as well. Can you oh, just, oh, I just can't. Um, and then, of course, his hats. He is known for wearing his hats. Um, so I'm actually on the lookout for some more hats like this and also some, like, fedora hats. But he just looks so good in hats. I am obsessed. Um, and then I have a whole pile of bibs here because um, we're going to be down there and bibs get dirty quite fast. Uh, then this is just a changing pad uh, cover. 
So while we're down there, I can set up a little changing station. Um, these are some swim diapers that we have left over from our California trip. And then I have a whole bunch of regular diapers. He is size four, by the way. The swim diapers are size three. They look big, so I think that they're going to fit him still. Um, moving over. Oh, I can put his other shoes in here too. Um, but we have his little car toy here. I'm only bringing a few toys because I know he's going to get some toys for Christmas. Um, so I have the car toy. Um, these are his little sandals that he has. Oh gosh, he is just so cute. And then I have these little like leathery, uh, brown shoes. Um, and then these were also secondhand soap, by the way. Um, and then the little rattles is one of his favorites, his weight. Um, again, he has a photo on my Instagram in that. Um, and then we'll go with these guys. These are little booties that will go for his Christmas family photo uh, picture. And then this is another one of these uh, toys that you can put in the fridge. So you can chew on it. It's also a rattle and it's like a fun toy that he really likes playing with. Um, he actually likes playing with it more than chewing on it, which is kind of interesting because he chews on everything. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I have two little ball caps. This one I think he might be too small for, but I want to bring it anyways just in case. Um, it says Mickey hat. Um, and then I just have a plain hat as well that I bought off of Amazon. Um, and then this guy is his little uh, Skip Hop bandana buddy. It's a fox. Um, and so I thought that I could just string him up um, like cross some sort of thing and have like a makeshift like baby gym kind of uh vibe going on so that's what's in this guy right here so that's how his suitcase is all packed um super super cute and let's see if it actually closes success guys thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through the whole video i hope you enjoyed and got some either inspiration or um if you wanted to check out the diaper bag or whatever it was that you were into i hope that you enjoyed it i do post every tuesday and thursdays so definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video and i will see you guys next time bye